Okay, I apologize because I stopped recording just thinking it would pause it, but it actually stopped and then started a new video. So I am definitely a super amateur when it comes to stuff like this, but I am trying my best. So you'll see I did come up with a sentence for this one up here. It says, in a recent study, it was found that swimming is the most popular water sport, right? Don't forget the beginning of your sentence should start with a capital letter. The end should end with some sort of punctuation, which in this case should be a period. I wasn't asking a question, right? So that it would end in a question mark. And uh, it wasn't something super exciting, right? So it's not gonna end in an exclamation mark. So let's go over the bottom of this. Uh, it says, write the sentences correctly. Number one, did you finish reading the chapter called Training Your Dog? Okay, so right off the bat, you should see that it does not start with a capital letter, which it should. Okay, does end with punctuation. And I will tell you that is correct uh, because they are asking you a question, so it should end with a question mark. Okay, um, as far as everything else goes, there are some other capital or capitalization errors we need to correct. So the chapter in this book that this person's asking about is called Training Your Dog. Okay, so these should also be capitalized. So the T, the Y, and the D, and I'll show you when I write it out, okay? And then, um, because we're talking about a chapter in a book, I think it should also go in quotation marks, just like up at the top uh, when the, they were talking about that magazine, Sea Explorer. And then the one other thing in this uh, sentence is that the word finished is the wrong form of this word, right? So it should be, did you finish reading the chapter called Training Your Dog? So let me write that down really quickly. So that is what it should look like. All right, on to number two. Michelle always uses toys to reward her dog's well behavior. Okay, so first off we see Michelle is capitalized, which is good because it's both the name of this girl and because it is the beginning of this sentence, okay? And then we see the sentence ends in a period, so we are set there. So Michelle always uses toys to reward her dog's well behavior. I will tell you that behavior spelled wrong and then it should not be well behavior, right? It should be good behavior. So Michelle always uses toys to Reward her dogs. Good behavior. B E H A V I O R. Behavior. My dogs respond much better to food and treats rather than toys, but whatever. Some dogs really like toys more. Number three, write the missing words. Michelle doesn't blank treats to reward her dog. Sorry, my sister is texting me. Okay, so again, uh, just like up in the top section, um, we should probably go through and say each one of these in the blank so that we can hear which one sounds better. So Michelle doesn't ever use no treats to reward her dog. I don't think it's that one. Michelle doesn't never use no treats to reward her dog. Mm. Michelle doesn't ever use any treats to reward her dog. That one sounds much better, but let's try the last one. 
Michelle doesn't never use any treats to reward her dog. Yeah, it's not that one. So it was definitely this one, the third one again. So Michelle doesn't ever use any treats to reward her dog. Quite the opposite for me and my dogs. But anyway, um, just so you know and understand this one, you can't use a double negative in a sentence. You can, but they negate each other, which means they cancel each other out. So if you're saying, Michelle doesn't ever use no treats to reward her dog, doesn't and no are both negatives, so they cancel each other out. So you would be saying that she does use treats to reward her dog. So number four, the last one, circle the contraction that replaces the underlined words. So if you could see her dog now, you would be surprised how smart he is. So you need to figure out what contraction can replace these two words that are underlined. So you would, right? Remember, a contraction is two words that you kind of squish together. They leave some letters out, and then the um, letters that you left out are replaced with this little apostrophe. So you would, you'd, you would, and you would. So I hope you would know right off the bat that this one and this one aren't even real things. Well, neither is another one, but I'll show you that in a second. They're, they're not even really possible. Um, Yuled, Y-O-U apostrophe L-D, is also not a thing, although it sounds more like it could have been. So your correct answer is you'd, right? You would. If you could see her dog now, you'd be surprised how smart he is. That's the one you should have. So I hope you uh, take a look at this. Um, I hope you under, understand everything I said. I hope my videos make sense and wish me luck trying to upload them to YouTube and then getting them into the classroom. Um, I appreciate you guys watching these and listening to it. Um, hopefully I'll get better as I go. I'll do the week two sheet later on this week. Um, I couldn't do this one till this week because I was waiting for this little tripod to come in the mail. So I hope everyone's doing well and I really hope to see you guys soon. Bye.